Hello and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Acumatica 2020 R2 and business events. Now, in previous videos, we've talked about business events and how to configure them. There's many different things you can do with them. In this version of Acumatica, business events has replaced notifications. Automation notifications now is replaced with business events. If you have Acumatica already, you have a lot of notifications. During this upgrade, Acumatica will automatically migrate them to business events. But now you have the ability through many different documents through the system to click on this business event and create an event based on this screen. And it'll do a lot of the work for you that you would have to do otherwise by creating a new business event and then linking it back to the screen. So if we click on business events here, You can see we have one here already. But let's say we want to create a new one. We'll call this order is going to credit limit. And notice the type, it's a trigger by record change, meaning in our record set, anytime an order has a change, it is eligible for us to take action based on that record. Now, the first part of that is, well, what record? Well, we have trigger conditions that we would use to ensure that we're selecting the correct record for a action. So what we want is a new field value. So the document status has changed to a value of credit hold. So again, what this is going to do, anytime a record is changed, we're going to evaluate it. And if it has a status equal to credit hold, we're then going to take some sort of action. So let's give this a label, by the way. Sales order changed to credit hold. This way we can find it easily. Under subscribers, we can notify through email. We can set up a mobile text notification. Acumatica supports AWS's as well as Twilio. We can also do a mobile pop-up if we want. But in this case, we'll do an email notification. First thing that happens is we're brought into our notification templates screen. Give this a name. We'll send it from our email account. This can be any email account that we want, maybe customer service or something along those lines. Our two field allows us to pick any email addresses that are available through the entity, meaning the generic inquiry. But we can also select users in the system, employees that are part of Acumatica. Or we could simply just type in an email. And the subject heading could be order has gone into credit hole. Now we could be more specific and actually add a field here. So if we click on the magnifying glass, we can say sales order and pick the order number. And Acumatica is going to add that field towards the end. So we'll cut it and paste it so it's nice where we want it to be. And you can do the same thing under message. And even put a link. So if we go back to our order screen, we can see this is the URL it takes to open up an order. So if I copy that, Go back to my notification, paste the link. So here we can click on this, edit the link, and at the end, take out this order number and paste our field reference here. And if you wanted to get fancy, you can come over here and give it a better name.
So we'll save this. And now if we go over and create a new sales order, we'll select our customer. This customer is on a very tight credit limit. We'll add an item. And we're on credit hold now. Notice Acumatica, I don't recall it ever doing this before, but the status went to credit hold before I even save. So we save it. Now we're on credit hold. And this credit hold will now trigger our business event. So if we go to all emails, you can see our email was generated. We'll open it up. And order 56271 is going to credit hold. Click here for the order. We created this URL. And that'll allow us to open up the sales order. So this is great for a customer service person or credit department uh, personnel to be able to open up the order and understand that this order went to credit hold immediately. They can communicate with the customer. The phone number's right here. And discuss with them their credit situation, resolve the issue, and then release from credit hold if they have the rights. So thanks so much for watching this video on Acumatica 2020 R2. And we appreciate you subscribing to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.